Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2021 Chevrolet Camaro Coupe 2SS, as well as learn about the features and other Chevrolet Camaro configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Muscle cars never died, they just evolved. Today, these symbols of Americana are more sophisticated and more technologically advanced than their forebearers. The 2021 Chevrolet Camaro Coupe, for example, can do a lot more than just rip down the drag strip. It also offers excellent handling, the latest infotainment features, and plenty of speed no matter which engine you choose. A mighty 6.2 liter V8 engine is the jewel of the lineup, but the V6 and turbocharged four-cylinder engine also have spirit. As for features, the 2021 Chevrolet Camaro Coupe now comes with wireless compatibility for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which means you can integrate your phone to the touchscreen without having to plug it into a USB cable or the port. As before, poor visibility and a lack of storage space limit the Camaro's usability, but when it comes to the driving experience, the Camaro is tops in its class. The 2021 Chevrolet Camaro Coupe comes in eight trim levels, starting with a four-cylinder 1LS and progressing to the 1LT, 2LT, and 3LT that can be optioned with a V6. The LT1 comes with a V8, while the 1SS and 2SS receive further performance upgrades. Finally, the mighty ZL1 offers a supercharged V8 and track pedigree. The Camaro is at its best with a V8 under the hood. From there, consider the 2SS trim level. While the LT1 is the cheapest way to get to the V8, you miss out on a few desirable features such as the bigger infotainment display, Brembo brakes and extra powertrain cooling capacity that only come on the SS trims. The 2SS combines the V8 engine with features from the 3LT. Here are the features. 8-inch touchscreen, 9-speaker Bose audio system, upgraded driver information display, Ford collision alert, head-up display, rear camera mirror, driver seat memory settings, heated steering wheel, wireless device charging, rear cross-traffic alert, and rear parking sensors. Okay, let's get into this build and price review of the 2021 Chevrolet Camaro. It does come as a convertible, but we're going to do the coupe. We're going to do the coupe, and we're going to do the coupe and the 2SS, which is basically about the highest trim level. comes very loaded. Leather interior, uh, the upgraded audio system, all that. But before we actually get into the building price and before we actually check out all the features and all that kind of stuff and check out the exterior colors and go through the gallery and all that, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related building price reviews. I've put links in the description Below, I've done other Chevrolet Camaros. I mentioned the LT1, which is the cheapest way to get into a V8. I actually did the 2020 version. I did a ZL1. Uh, I did a Ford Mustang that this that this vehicle competes against. The Dodge Challenger that it competes against. And yeah, the Toyota Supra that the uh, 2021 Chevy Camaro Coupe competes against. All those uh, vehicles I just mentioned... I did videos of, and those links are in the description below. So make sure after you watch this video, you check out one or two of those as well. Okay, so first things first, let's check out these exterior colors. So this color here is called Riverside Blue Metallic. Now here's the thing, I didn't mention it, but I did a walk around review of a 2017 Camaro, which I think was Riverside Blue I'm, I think, I'm going to go ahead and put a link down in the description below. Check that video out uh, and let me know in that in the, in the comments what color blue that is. I just don't remember. Anyway, Riverside Blue, uh, Crush, which is the orange. Uh, you got the Red Hot. You got the Satin Steel Metallic. Summit White. Black. Shadow Gray. Shock, which I'm shocked. I, I, don't, I don't really care for that color. And then you've got the Wild Cherry Tent Coat. Actually, all the colors are pretty cool. I, I'm curious uh, what the shock might look like on the street. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so before we get to the build, if you've watched my channel before, you kind of know how this works. Before we get to the build 
uh, and build in price and go through the configurator and find out how much it costs and all that stuff and what options we can put on it, we like to go through the features, right? And Chevrolet wants to start off with the design features of the 2021 Camaro, right? Unmistakable Camaro styling. It does look great. I was just talking about that 2017, and this 2021 basically looks like that, but it's it's sharper in the front end, and it's just better all around. It just keeps getting better and better. It says it's got a large, low grill that looks fantastic. Uh, it's got aerodynamic performance, distinctive accents. It's a good-looking sports car. In typical Chevrolet fashion or General Motors fashion, uh, the Camaro comes in a lot of special edition packages. You've got this red line package that's only available on the LT1, and it comes with all of these things. You've got the shock and steel special editions, right, that's going to give you, like, some carbon fiber and some blackout stuff and things like that. And then, there, of course, there's the convertible that I was talking about. You got the RS package, and you got the 1LE package, the big, you know, basically your race car, your track package, your super fast one, right? When you want to have the fastest Camaro, uh, the sportiest Camaro you can absolutely, or the most expensive Camaro you can absolutely get. All right, so interior stuff. Let's go through these little gallery photos real fast. So the seats look okay. Uh, the interior is like, you know, it's 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 not a European interior, but uh, it's there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, so they're saying available options, heated and ventilated seats, Recaro seats, uh, memory package, red seat belts, heated steering wheel, micro suede steering wheel, microfiber steering wheel. And aluminum drive pedals. Do they show the pedals anywhere? No, we don't see the pedals anywhere. Let's go through this gallery really fast. There's 33 photos. We've kind of seen. Uh, that's a good looking shot right there. That's a beautiful shot. That's a. I think is that the red tent coat? Che Wild cherry tent coat that one is. Nice color. Here's the 2SS in that Riverside blue. Yeah. Camaro just keeps getting nicer and nicer. It's a good-looking car. I mean, it was when it came out in, like, what, 2010 or whatever it was. And the styling overall is still basically the same. But, boy, it sure has uh, progressed nicely, hasn't it? Here they're showing a coupe and a convertible. Uh, yep. Not really convertible guy. That red, uh, this red. I, I think I do like the red. The red is nice. That wild cherry tent coat, we might have to go with that. We might have to go with that. All right, they got a lot of exterior photos, and you can only look at so many of those. Here's the functional air extractor on the Camaro SS. Uh, there's an LT1 looking gorgeous. They like that wild cherry tent coat because they keep showing it in a lot of these photos. Uh, let's get to the interior, guys. Can we get to it? All right, faster. There we go. There we go. Here's some interior. Here's the SS interior with the 8-inch uh, diagonal color driver information center. So you got a whole digital dashboard or uh, instrument cluster, and that is pretty cool, especially in a Camaro. Uh, here's another shot of the interior. The pictures are so slim. You got the six speed. I'm up in the air whether or not I want to do an automatic or a six speed. We'll see. I might be leaning towards the, uh, the manual. Uh, here we've got the head-up display. You watch the channel. You know I love head-up display. All right, so we went through all the photos. Let's move on, keep learning about the features, such as the performance features, right? And so you've got all kinds of engines. You've got the 2-liter turbo. You've got a six point, you've got two trims of 6.2-liter V8 uh, and all that. So here's the 2-liter uh, turbo. That's your, what, there we go. Here's your 2-liter turbo. And it's standard. Now, I was telling you about that 2017 Chevy Camaro I did a walk around on. I did. I drove that car extensively, and that car has a two uh, the two liter turbo. And boy, you wouldn't know that it was just a four cylinder. It feels very stout. So I wouldn't discount this two liter turbo, right? It makes 275 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque, and it's legit. Then you got the available 3.6 liter. All right, and keep in mind that that two liter makes more torque than this V6, although the V6 is going to feel more silky smooth, all right, it's going to feel more silky smooth, and they say the 0 60 time on the turbo is 5.4 seconds, well, on the V6 it's 5.2 and 5.4, I guess it just depends, I, that's probably on the uh, coupe and the convertible, is probably what that is, that's probably why I have two times, so it's just incrementally faster, just incrementally faster than the turbo, 
And then you got the 6.2 liter LT1 V8. This is what's going to come in our 2SS. All right. It's got a 10 speed uh, paddle shift automatic transmission. Should we choose that? It's standard on the LT1 and the SS. And then, of course, they got the big supercharged 6.2 liter. And that's where you're, you know, your fastest Camaro standard on the ZL1. For suspension, we got that magnetic ride control. Uh, available on SS, standard on the ZL1 and SS with the 1LE. Oh, you can get the SS with the 1LE package. Yeah, we're not going to do the one. That's the track package. We're not going to do the 1LE package, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, maybe we might do the magnetic ride control. We'll see. We will see. So, look, check this out. They've got they've got the trim levels of the 2021 uh, Camaro as drop-downs. LS, LT, LT1, SS, ZL1. So, you got your base model, LS. Has a starting price of $25,000. Comes with that uh, two-liter four-cylinder engine. And you know what, boy? If you just want to get yourself into a nice little Camaro, you want to have a nice sporty new car, and you don't care about having the fastest, even though there's plenty of power to be had in sport, boy, $25K is not bad at all. I mean, that's a sporty price. Moving up from the LS, then you have the LT. Uh, they just happen to be showing the convertible. It uh, is $25,500, but it opens up the door to getting the V6 engine should you want it. And you can get some optional packages, 3LT, 2LT, Brembo brakes, etc., etc. That's the one. That's the LT. Then you got the LT1. This is your cheapest way into the V8 engine. And like I said, I did the, uh, I did a 2020 LT1. So if you want to check out that video where I go over this particular car, then get into that. So transmissions, you can get a six-speed manual on that car. All right, it starts at $34,000. And then you got the SSs down here. They start at $37,500. You can also get the six-speed manual transmission. Here's all the stuff that... Uh, See, the 2SS gives you more stuff like the heated and ventilated leather seats, head-up display, uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you got the good uh, Brembo brakes. You can get the six-piston Brembo as an available option. Uh, and then there's the available packages. Remember, we went over the packages. And they actually have that Wild Cherry Design package. Don't know if we're going to do all that. But, yeah, so starting at 37000 I don't know where we're going to end up. Probably somewhere around $50,000. I'm not really sure. And, of course, you have the top tier uh, ZL1 that starts at $63,000. And at the end of the day, boy, 650 horsepower engine. The thing's about 70 k probably out the door, more or less. That's a lot of car for the money. All right, technology features for the 2021 Chevy Camaro. Uh, it's got the Chevy Infotainment 3 system, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It's now wireless, so you don't have to USB in with your cord anymore, which is cool. Also, available built-in 4G, 4G LTE Wi-Fi is available, uh, navigation, Sirius XM, all that kind of stuff there. Amazon Alexa, I'm not into any of that stuff, but that's also available. What's this thing? Power up. Uh, wireless charging. Standard on the 3LT, 2SS, woohoo! that's what we're going to build in price, and the ZL1. So, we're going to have standard wireless charging. All right, let's check out some of these other features. The heads-up display, standard on the 2SS. Very cool. See, it tells you right down there, standard, 3LT, 2SS, ZL1. Then you got the drive mode selector. This is should you have the automatic transmission. And maybe we might go automatic transmission. Uh, and then when you do, you can get you can choose between these modes, which instantly adjust up to eight different vehicle characteristics. All right. Uh, and then there's launch control, standard on the SS and the ZL1 with automatic transmission. Oh, that's cool. Maybe we are going to get the automatic. And then there's custom launch control. Uh, this feature lets you optimize off the line and all this kind of stuff. So this is if you want to get all technical about it, and this is on uh, ZL1 and SS models. And then there's the performance data recorder, which also comes on the uh, Cadillacs, or used to if it doesn't, it's still. And so you can record your track or just driving around town or whatever. Uh, cool feature. I'm not really into it, but if you like to go out on a track or you just want to record yourself driving around, uh, the, you can get it right from the dealer. All right. This is a performance car. 
but performance cars still need to be about safety. So here are the safety features, uh, the available active safety features, and some of them are standard. Okay, so you got a standard rear vision camera available, rear cross traffic alert available, uh, rear park assist. Uh, available lane change alert with side blind zone alert and available for collision alert. So a lot of available stuff. The only thing that looks to be standard is a rear view camera. And I think every car, it's just standard. Everybody has to have a rear view, uh, rear view camera. All right, let's check some quick specs really fast. So the vehicle is 190.2 inches long. Uh, looks to be the 2SS is 52.9 inches tall, uh, front headroom 38.5, front leg room 43.9 uh, inches uh, respectively. And I think that's about all they have on this page here. They're talking about the all new 2020 Corvette. Turns out I actually did a building price for the 2020 Corvette. Uh, I'm going to put that link down in the description below. So if you want to check out that video, uh, you can. Okay, let's do the build. All right, so here we're going to select coupe in our configuration. Uh, now we got to select our trim level. Our trim level is going to be 2SS. So let's scroll past all this other stuff. Here we go, 2SS. And we're going to take it with the automatic transmission, the 10-speed automatic transmission. That puts us at an MSRP here online anyway of $44,090. Let's choose our color. You already kind of maybe can guess it. Yep, wild cherry tent coat. I'm all over the wild cherry tent coat. Uh, is that picture going to? There we go. It didn't take too long to come up. That's a premium color. We had to pay $4.95 for that color. Uh, if you watch the channel, you know that I'm not really into the accent stripes or decals, no matter who makes them. Dodge, Chevy, Porsche, I don't care. I'm not into the decal thing. So we're not getting any stripes. Uh, and there's just, I mean, there's just a plethora of options. Uh, and they're kind of cool. The fender hash marks, however, the fender hash marks are kind of cool. They are kind of cool, but I can't, I, I can't be bothered with it, to be honest with you. Uh, interior color. Uh, let's take a look at the interior. The interior color, they got the jet black, which, you, of course, you can't go wrong with the jet black, of course. Here, they, that picture finally loaded. It took, like, forever. So here's Jet Black, and then you can do the red or, or Kalahari and these different colors. You know what? I think I'm just going to leave the black, right? We're going to do that. The cherry red, the wild cherry, black leather interior. I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. Okay, next up is packages. I've already gone through this whole page, and I've only selected one thing. All right, so up top here... They've got the 1LE package, that track package, $7,000. I just don't need it. I just don't need it. It's overkill for me. Uh, the black accent exterior package, I get tired of all the blacked out stuff. So I'm, o I'm over that. The, red, and the, the rest of these packages, this red line package, it's just appearance packages, mind you. These are appearance packages. Uh, what I did opt for is the uh, 1LE uh, suspension, however. Right, the magnetic ride control, all that. So underneath it, we've got the 1LE suspension, but up top, it's all regular looking. So it's a little sleeper there. We got the 1LE spec suspension package. All right. I didn't take anything else. I don't have the uh, the satin black front splitter or the body color. I was gonna do the body color spoiler with wicker package right here, but it wanted to remove the wild cherry uh, the, that particular paint. And so I said, nay. All right, Camaro logo package. We didn't do any of these. All the winter, summer, these are just mats. The rest of these are just appearance packages, like I said. So this is all stuff that was very, 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 very skippable. Okay, let's move on to uh, wheels, exterior stuff. So we've got 20-inch wheels right now. Uh, I'm just kind of quickly, uh, these ones down here, that don't have a price on them. Those are bun the ones that don't have a price are bundled in packages. Is worth noting. Uh, what does this wheel look like? It's a oh, it's gloss black. I don't really want that. Here's one that's a satin black. Uh, here's one that's a machine. Let's see what this one looks like. This one's sixteen ninety five. Let's see what that wheel looks like. It looks incrementally different. It's a split spoke, and I think it actually looks a little bit better. Uh, yeah, 
that photo. Okay, that photo did load. Yeah, I think I like the little split spoke. It's a $1,700 option. Here we are looking at just under $50,000. Uh, tires, that's fine. See, these Goodyear uh, summer tires have no price underneath them, so it's going to be some other package. Mechanical options, we've got the paddle shifters, launch control. Uh, do we need the electronic limited slip differential? Probably not because it's gonna it doesn't have a price and it's gonna be bundled with a package and it's probably that one LE track package and I can't be bothered with that either, either whatever. The sway bar suspension upgrade, yeah, I'm all about that unless it's gonna make us remove something. Uh, we gotta remove the spec suspension package and yeah, then never mind. I guess that's mechanical stuff. I do like the strut tower brace. Uh, they got it in black or silver. The strut tower brace is nice. Let's go ahead and get that for 215. Why not? Um, what else is there? Uh, the performance, uh, six piston brakes. Nah, you know what? We're already at 50k. We're already at 50k, and and I'm about ready to tap out. I'm 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 sort of interested in the six piston Brimbos, but it's not that serious to be honest with you. And you could probably always get, upgrade them later on. I bet you. I bet you you could. I do like the performance air intake, however, for 595. I mean, it's just cheaper. I just don't. I don't want. I don't want to spend the 3200 dollars, the 3300 dollars for the for the uh, the brakes. Although they'll never be cheaper now. Even if the dealer did put them on later on, it's going to cost you more than 3200 dollars. That's for sure. So you definitely want to think about that. Uh, I don't need any exhaust tips. I'm fine with the ones that are on there. Uh, the wheel locks, all that kind of stuff. Uh, that's all cool. The front splitter stuff is all cool, but eh, whatever. I just want to. I just want to. I just want a nice Camaro. I don't need all these extra things. And then of course the details and the strips and the stripes and all the different wings. We're skipping over it. I mean, it's a lot of stuff. And then you got the center caps and the gas cap and a car covers. Yeah, skip it. Let's move on to the interior. Uh, let's get the upgraded infotainment system for 495. All right. Uh, what else? We don't need the Recaro seats. These floor mats you can pick up any time at the dealer at the parts counter. Illuminated footwells. I'm not really worried about that. Uh, this is just, you know, how do you want your armrest? Here shows a Camaro. Uh, I'm fine with it being regular. Uh, I don't need the performance data recorder. Uh, you can get a carbon fiber style shift knob. For the automatic, ah, I'm okay with that. You can always pick that up later. Uh, knee pads. Uh, the knee pads are those side bolsters that are right, right along here. And I'm fine just leaving it the way it is. Accessories. I talk about this all the time with General Motors. We skip over the accessories because the accessories are not um, relevant. Like trailering. You're not going to be trailering with this car. You don't need that hitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, cleaning products. I guess you might want some of that, but, you know, headphones and junk, I mean, seriously, it, it, it's like a checkout at, like, uh, you know, at, like, a regular department store or something. <laughs> it's like, all right, anyway, let's move on to summary. Vehicle started off at 42005 Here we are at almost $10,000 later, but we got a really, really sweet Camaro, all right, super sweet Camaro. And I like those split-spoke wheels. They look pretty good, don't you think? Yeah, they do. The Wild Cherry Tent Coat. It's a little dark, but I like it. It's a little dark, but I like it. Uh, on that note, you know what? We're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review of the 2021 Chevrolet Camaro Coupe 2SS with the 1LE, uh, what is that? The 1LE uh, Spec Suspension Package. If you found this review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day. And I will see you on the very next video.